Hey photographers, it's Ben from TAFE. Hope you are really well. This shot is really close. This video is about a photographer I used to know. Uh, he was pretty cool. And a technique he came up with these things. Uh, you know, little business cards and how they changed how he interacted with people for the better. All right, so let's set the scene. This photographer I knew he used to get approached a fair bit when he was out professionally taking photos and punters from the crowd, people he just photographed would say to him, mate, could you, um, could you email me a copy of that shot? Um, now obviously, if you're, you know, you're, you're hired to shoot a wedding, then you're working for the bride essentially and really she owns the photos. But, but how do you manage that? How does that request, you know, you can't really say to someone, you know what, if you want a photo, you need to talk to the bride over there. You know, the Sheila in the white dress, that's not gonna go well for you. Essentially, what you need is a way to remember that request without bothering the bride or the boss or whoever. How do you do that? Let's jump in, let's meet this guy and we'll talk to him about some of the ways he used to manage that. All right, you guessed it, it's me. I am the photographer. Uh, what we've been talking about. Now, have a look at me. I'm looking pretty confused. And here's why. Someone's approached me and they've said, mate, love your picture. Um, can, can you send me a copy? And first up, I've got to have a think. Okay, currently I'm working for a newspaper. So the newspaper owns the photos I'm taking. Um, so I can't just give you a copy. I've got to, you know, talk to my boss, all those kinds of things. Generally speaking, the boss is going to want you to put in a photo order and, and you know, the newspaper is going to want to get paid for that picture. Cool. So I explain that to the bloke and I say, mate, here's the process. You need to contact the newspaper and they'll, you know, get in touch with you. And he's like, sick. All right, mate, here's my email. Uh, just send us an email. And you're like, okay. So, all, uh, so that's what the notebook's out. Yeah, we've got to write down this fella's email and um, and go from there. Now, I don't know if, you know, some people are pretty sensible emails. Like my TAFE one's reasonably sensible. It's, you know, the first letter of my first name, my surname, and then where I work. This bloke's email, it wasn't that sensible. That I mean, that that's why we have this look on Ben's face here. It was like, underscore, daddy, underscore, dogs, hashtag, 67. At, yahoo.com.au and there was a couple of letters that were caps and a couple of letters that are lowercase and you know generally Ben this guy here Ben the photographer is trying to write all this down in his notebook in such a way that when he gets back to the office he can actually remember it and send this bloke an email okay so we've got a problem there and it's kind of getting solved by the notebook thing Let's jump over and see the next version of Ben here. And he, you know, he's a little bit wiser. He's got um, probably a few more kilos on the frame. Uh, he's, he's got a press pass. He looks like he's at a football grand final. And, and judging by the look of him, it's just after the final siren and he's covered in champagne and beer and all the stuff football players you know, pour on each other once they've, once they've won. And so he's got that expression on his face. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a little bit like, I, I'd like to go home now and kind of a little bit confused too, because he's had a footballer come up to him, put his arms around him, so sweaty footballer won the grand final, covered in beer, Ben's covered in beer, his notebook's covered in beer, and said, oh mate, Mate, can you, can you send me a copy of the team photo? Emotions are high. He's already sunk a couple of cans. That, that would be the football player, not Ben, the photographer, because he's working. And, and to top it all off, the football player is now saying, mate, just send us an email. And he's having a bit of a struggle remembering his email. And Ben's having a struggle writing it down. So Ben thinks, righto, mate. What I'm gonna do is I'll take your email, plus I'll take your phone number, 
That way, if the email doesn't work, I can give you a call. Little does Ben know that about two hours later and he's back at his computer downloading that old mate, the football player, who's very emotional, on his way to being very drunk, has only supplied Ben with nine digits for his phone number and the email is bouncing because he forgot it was a dash, not an underscore. So here's the third version of Ben. Uh, he's at the golf and his face looks like that partly because he's at the golf but mostly because old mate over here in the terry toweling hat has just said mate i'm from a town far far away i love that photo of me can you send me a copy this old chestnut so what does ben do ben finally gets a bit smart about this scenario he realizes that taking emails and then emailing people later is pretty taxing. It doesn't really account for people who get their emails wrong and get their phone numbers wrong. Now, and that leads to the bigger problem of if the photographer doesn't get back to the bloke who asked him to get back to him, your, your reputation as a professional photographer takes a hit. So then we fast forward to Ben here at the golf. And what Ben does is says to Mr. Terry Towling, mate, Instead of me writing down your details, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a business card with my details. You send me an email and I will reply to you with, you know, your low res previews of your shot for you so that you can order. Here you go, buddy. Go to town. It's now on them to get in touch with you. You've already done as much as you can. Here's a card, I've made it really easy for you. Just send me an email and I'll hook you up. People will always ask you to send them your photos. And if you can avoid having to take their number and their contact information, uh, it's much, much easier because it removes uh, like uh, you know several points of failure from your end. And that is a very good thing.